Hello and welcome to the Thrifty Collector. Today I'm going to talk about my most recent eBay purchase, a 1972 David Arthur Kingman rookie card, my favorite player of all time. This is a GAI 8, first graded, and uh, I want to kind of go into the uh, GAI to begin with. Did a lot of research on them. A lot of people said they were pure garbage. A lot of people said that they were great when they first came out. What gave me the indication that this was actually one of their first cards is the first graded. The first 10 cards that they graded of each card got designated as a first graded. So, and what else I was able to find out was is that they actually were really good when they first came out and then uh, just what happens to a lot of these companies, they need money, they get sold, and then whoever buys them needs money, so they go ahead and just pretty much give the farm away to whoever will give them money and ruin their reputation. Now, I have heard about people pulling GAI 8s and getting PSA 9s, so, um, but this is a fantastic card, and it really doesn't matter what kind of case it is. A great card is a great card. Um, so you kind of judge for yourself there, but just kind of give me an example. I paid $15 for this card, whereas a PSA 8 went for $136. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Uh, like I said, Kingman was my favorite player. I used to go to Fenway when the A's came into town just so that I could see him. And this might just be a memory from my childhood, but I do remember him actually hitting a ball and it hit the green monster so hard that it bounced about halfway back to the shortstop. Probably a little exaggeration as time has gone by in my head, but he could hit the ball. He hit a 550 foot home run when he played for the Cubs and that went out of Wrigley Field and actually hit a house across the street. So pretty amazing there. Um, he ended up with 442 home runs would have eventually probably gotten 500 because his last year he hit 35. Now, he was part of the owner's collusion that was going on in the 86, 87. Uh, just look at guys like Bob Horner, who had to go to Japan. Uh, Al Oliver was well on his way to a Hall of Fame career. I think he ended up with about 2,700 hits, and he got uh, was part of the owner's collusion also, and so was Kingman. Now, Kingman won a settlement for $829,000, which proved that the owners were colluding against the players. Dave Kingman also, uh, in his college career, won a World Series championship. So, for the Collegiates, when he was with uh, the University of Southern California Trojans. Uh, the reason why I got this in a GAI is that I got it for 15 bucks. A PSA sold for 136. Uh, I'm not much into the old PSA craze. Uh, I know some people are, uh, but the fact that I have, like I said, I've read that people pulling eights out of GAI and getting nines on PSA. Uh, I guess it just depends on how much you want to pay. Uh, one of the amazing things about K Dave Kingman, more than anything, is the fact that he actually. Uh, hit a home run, and I believe he's the only player still to have done this, for a team in every division in baseball in one year. In 1977, he played with the Mets, the Padres, the Yankees, and the Angels, and hit home runs for all four teams in one year. He also, of course, hit home runs for both New York teams in one year. Uh, I tried to find out exactly what the trades were, what the story was. You don't really, there's really not a lot out there about it, but just kind of an amazing year for a guy that was actually coming off an all-star season in 1976. He ended up, of course, uh, ending up with the Cubs in 78, had a few great years with them. Uh, he had 16 grand slams during his career, which is quite amazing. But, um, and if you think about it, that 1986 team with the A's, his last team, it was him, Ricky Henderson, Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco. So just a load of talent on that team. So, and I think they actually brought back Reggie Jackson in 87 uh, to play one last year. So maybe that's why they decided to get rid of Kingman. Uh, just decided to stroke Reggie another check during his career. 
So like I said, 15 bucks, real happy with this. As you can tell, this is just a beautiful card. And uh, for a 1972, so hard to find that stuff. That's uh, what, 50 years old now in such great condition. So uh, tell me what you think in the comments. I've got some other stuff. Uh, I'm way behind on my uh, pro wrestling crates. So I'm hoping to do a video here. And uh, if anybody has any questions, please let me know. And as always, stay thrifty. Good night.